now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, we are dodging a bullet tonight. Quite a bit in the way of severe weather down across parts of Kentucky and Tennessee. Boy, we really dodged a bullet even last night with the bulk of the severe weather down and heavy rain and flooding down across parts of Kentucky as well. The good news, we don't have to worry about severe weather, but I thought these rainfall totals were impressive. We were expecting two to four across a good part of the viewing area, and some folks got more than that, believe it or not, especially across parts of northern Kentucky. Look at this. Down here in the parts of Robertson County, over towards Mount Olivet, close to six inches wide. Spread three to four inch rainfall amounts across much of northern Kentucky last night into south central parts of Ohio, including parts of Brown and Adams County. Anywhere south of the Ohio River, you generally had about two inches or more, and then it dropped off considerably once you worked your way farther north of the river. You got up towards Hamilton and Oxford, Middletown, Brookville. You see a lot less of these greens and even purple, lesser rainfall amounts, a little over an inch to about an inch and a half. So the flood threat overnight last night was down across southern parts of our viewing area. The good news is that overall expect a drying trend. Yes, there are showers out there now, but that rain's not nearly as heavy as what we dealt with last night. And a matter of fact, if you look at this thin rope of showers that's crossing the tri-state as we speak, that is the actual cold front. You'll see a 10 to 15 degree temperature drop behind it, and it effectively shuts off any threat for severe weather. So you're done basically along in northwest of Interstate 71 with any opportunity for severe weather. And here shortly, even our southeastern communities will be out of the woods as that cooler air begins to move in here. So watch out over towards Hillsboro, over towards Sterling. Tate, some briefly heavier downpours as the cool front comes through, but they won't last long. Same story. Get ready, Dry Ridge over towards Falmouth, Moscow. Once this band of showers pushes through, your threat for severe weather will eventually end. It'll take a while, but eventually over around Maysville, this band of showers will reach you. That will end your threat of severe weather as well. Now, while the threat for severe weather is ending, I can't rule out a few more stray showers through the dinner time hour. So if you have plans on this Friday evening, don't only bring an umbrella, but also pack a jacket, too, because temperatures will be slipping back into the 40s as it turns colder and those brisk northwest winds begin to pick up this evening. So here's a live look outside here atop Mount Auburn. 52 degrees at the airport now. We've got ourselves a north wind at 25. Look at the temperature contrast across the area from 60 in Maysville to 65 in Walton. And then clearly here's the cold front. Look at this. 65 in Walton, but 50 in Florence. That's a 15 degree temperature drop over a matter of about 10 to 15 miles there. So again, that cooler air will filter in throughout the evening hours and end the threat for severe weather for us. I thought I'd take a peek ahead looking towards opening day. Opening day still doesn't look bad around here. We do have that small shower thread in there, but I expect a good part of the day to also be dry. Right now, it looks like maybe some showers, maybe mid afternoon, and then again, evening into the night. I think we'll get the game and the parade in. Temperatures will be on the mild side, hovering close to 60 on Monday. So as this storm center zips through the Ohio Valley tonight, the rain will end. High pressure will slide in here tomorrow. Sunshine returns for the area this weekend. You don't have to worry about any wet weather. Skies will clear overnight tonight. It will be in the 30s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Terrific sunshine tomorrow, but a tad bit cool for mid-April. Highs only in the 50s, and then it looks chilly Saturday night into Easter Sunday morning again. But temperatures will begin to rebound on Easter Sunday back into the 60s. 34 by tomorrow morning as the showers end early and it starts to turn colder. It's already doing so for many of us. 54 for a high tomorrow underneath cool and breezy conditions. Here's your day planner. 36 at 8 a.m. by lunchtime up to 48. And again, it will be a noticeably cooler day with a brisk breeze. Here's your seven day forecast. Cold start for those of you early risers on Easter Sunday morning. And then, Mike, there's your opening day forecast. But I got to tell you, next week, the weather looks a little more turbulent, very spring like. And by that, I mean the threat for thunderstorms and maybe even some severe weather beyond opening day. All right. I hope we get some of those Reds games in 